Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you two different ways of taking a screenshot on your ZTE Blade X Max. So I did post a video earlier today showing you one way, but there's actually two ways that you can take a screenshot using the ZTE Blade X Max. Now, the first way is the one I showed you at first, which is the more traditional way holding down the volume down button and the power button at the same time. So here we go. One, two, three. And just like that, I was able to take the screenshot pulling down the status bar there just gives you a little notification screenshot has been captured and you can share and delete it right there. Um, that's probably going to be the easiest way of taking the screenshot or you have this secondary option of taking a screenshot. All you got to do is go into settings, click on right here. So you just click on that. And basically what this is going to provide some really good one handed operation and you can actually customize this kind of on screen floating toolbar. So you can either have home back lock screen screenshot or mute status bar restart shutdown or menu so for this demonstration i'm just going to um, click screenshot so let's go ahead and go back enable this now and so basically you have this floating toolbar that you can pretty much position wherever you want on the display here so you can just move it all around and then when you want to take a screenshot all you got to do is just press on that and your screenshot has been taken so it's pretty easy again just got to be careful not to trigger this if you have it on your display there so let's go ahead and jump into the google play store and it's as easy as that if you're able to screenshot you get some options on the bottom as well now with this um floating toolbar here if you just kind of press out on it it does give you a variety of other options to choose from but in this video i just want to share with you the two ways of taking a screenshot so again the first traditional way volume down power button or you can have this on-screen button so if you found this video helpful informative in any way possible hit that thumbs up button once again this is paul tech thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i will talk to you on the next one bye